monsters should be killed. That's the rule of the hunting blades. I don't care what you think of monsters. I will protect Baul, even if it costs me my life. It's pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Any friend of duties is a friend of ours. Hating monsters is punishable by death. You're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up. We hunting blades will not back down. So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me. Let's get a magic lens. For what happens. Oh, now you've got it done. It. Don't know what I've done. Uh, so she's got fifty-seven thousand health. Okay. She got left now seven thousand. All right, she's down. another magic lens here on Tyson it's got 30,000 left Stop flying, man. I'm dead. Okay, that was a lot better. I'll find anybody who lays a hand <sighs> on my people. A lot, lot better. Didn't get the secret, um, the uh, special mission. But we've got a protect ring, resist ring. Uh, she's like lucky soul. That's good. Nan, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. All right, can we go back? I want to go to this save point again and just resave. Off screen, I might just try and get that um, secret mission. Oh, uh, no. I'll, 
won't be able to continue it through, so. Yeah, so we've got a cave there, or we can go this way. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. Ah, how my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. Ever blue. Uh, sorry, Patty, you were in my team briefly, but I'm going to put Rita back in here. Light magic. Decrease TP consumption and cast time. Also decrease dispels power. Occasionally fully restores HP during over limit. Okay. And that's nearly done. Dispersion and great job. She's just got that life one to get now. And we've got a feather coat. She's already got one on. So Patsy can have it. That's good. Try and dodge this dude. No, we've got a cave of wonders. Ah, that's the dragon. What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelikea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it! No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts, but you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to... My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best.
awful well now. Amazing. Yep. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's going to be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us. Of course we'd help. That's right. Didn't I tell you? you the size of him. through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Look at that. He's now flying our ship. Judy. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut eye myself. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Alright, I guess we've got to talk to our party. Thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But she did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do, even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. 
I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh, yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. Yep. Carol's story's coming on quite nicely. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know. But after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Last year, created with techniques that should have been lost in the war, are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. If that person was still using the Blastia, even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth? Someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you... Hey now! Yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? Patsy. I like Patsy. Don't fall overboard. Be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah, even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. Yep. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something, even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. Yep. Uh, who's left? Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the? Nothing. Uh... 
If only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Nice little arc from them. Right, let's drop a save. Can we... Good morning, Carol. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance. And our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechaea. So the Entelechaea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechaea have regulated the air. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk. Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. Nice. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. There's always is someone. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord. Because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliod. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain. Mm -hmm. I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. 
hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blasti are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. Okay. All right. Yep. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. So now we've got an airship. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces. So you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... That's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So Convenient. Get a hold of him by using that. Right. Baul's horn. Press L3 to call Baul on the world map. Move, land, only with land permitted. Toggle navigation map. Bring up main menu. Turn, turn, turn. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intelikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. Right. So what I might quickly do is uncover the whole map. And I think we're at that time of the episode where I can probably call it. Yeah, we're at 29 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to call this an episode. Um, there's probably a million and one side quests that I could do, but I'm going to push on with the um with the story here i think and uh yeah but first of all i'm just gonna uncover the map so i know i can see everything you know probably don't know what the names and stuff but you know we get a lay of the land per se so hope you join me in the next episode and we'll go and see pharaoh in that one in between as i said i will um just uncover the map you know like this so we we can see everything we know everything where we're going and uh, yeah, I hope you join me for that. But uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe and all of that good stuff. And I hope you join me for the next Tales of Aspira. And I'll see you guys in that one.